Welcome back to our video tutorials of Clint. In this video, we are going to see what is interactions. It's the main feature of the V3 version. So let's have a look on the V2 version. If we go to this uh, Clint 2 version, when we make a uh, right click on a picture, we have just this um, uh, contextual menu with just pan and zoom features. If we go to the v3 version and we uh, take a picture and then we ha and we make a right click we have all the edit copy past delete interactions menu when there is an interaction you will see here in the picture you will see a lightning uh, like a storm light and you can make um, a right click and edit interaction so you will have a um, special interaction menu with an edit um, menu and you will be able to add some JavaScript uh, interaction in your um, images. So that's what we are going to see now. We are going to use this web documentary uh, to match it and we, are, we want to do the same without coding anything. Interactions on the web is uh, generally the mouse interaction, which is when you um, pass uh, over a picture, it change the kind of picture, and uh, there is some uh, functionalities of the picture, which is the opacity of the picture, and so on. So we are going to match this um, uh, this particularly um, Les Voyageurs Médecins du Monde, uh, and we are going to do the same. That's why we want to achieve a mountain, sea, country. And to do this, we are going to use the menu Clint Interactions. Let's go on. Clint, the version 3, uh, helps you and you can use JavaScript without doing any code, any coding. There is no more interactions and we are going to, to start from scratch. We are going to start by the mountain picture. I have two kinds of pictures. I have this black uh, background picture, which is this, and I have the um, this one. I can. Uh, I have this one, which is just um, transparent background with uh, a black uh, text. So I have two pictures. The first thing I want to do is to use interaction, and I'm going to do this. The following things I create a right click and I go to edit interactions. We are going now to add interactions on the text mountain picture. And what kind of interaction I want to do? I want to use the rollover. You know that the rollover is when I pass the mouse on the picture. This is uh, the event uh, I want to use, though it will have some changes of the picture and so on. So I click on the rollover. This element, this is by default the text mountain picture. What want I do with this? I want this picture hides. So I am going to use the opacity parameter and I want that this opacity will be to zero. So, what happens if I look what happens? I make a preview and uh, what happens? It will it disappear. Uh, while it's disappearing, the other picture, which is just in the background, appears. Great. I want that the cover picture will disappear and that the mountain picture will appear completely. So, I am going to use the add button, the add plus button here, and I'm going to fetch the cover picture. This is the cover picture. And uh, I want the opacity will be at zero, so it will disappear. But now I want that my um, mountain picture will be completely seen. So I am going to put 100 as a parameter value and the, the mountain picture will appear 
we can add a preview. So when I use the mouse over here, look, mouse over, I have two things that happens. I My cover picture has um, disappeared because the opacity is to zero and the opacity of my mountain is to 100. Uh, now I want that the C button and the country button just uh, have a half 50% uh, of opacity. How to do that? So it's very easy. I click on the plus add button here and I'm going to fetch the text C and I'm going to put it to 50 uh, percent as a parameter value. I click this the button and I go to fetch my um, uh, text country and I put it to 50 percent. I click on preview button to see if it matches. So look underneath the, um, these two buttons here there is a black title so it must be to opacity zero so we are going to do this we must click once again here going to this button country over must be to zero and the C must be to zero let's have a look great so what i have done for this particular uh, text chapter i can do it with the other text chapter c and country let's do this for the c button here so now we can save and close this what we have done for the mountain button we are going to do it for the c uh, chapter to be quicker, there is a really good opportunity that is to uh, we can um, duplicate um, an interaction. So we can do right click here, copy interaction. We go to C and we make a past interaction. Let's have a look at the lightning here. We have just to modify the um, value uh, parameters of the opacity because we use only the opacity with the rollover functionality here. The um, cover menu will be at zero, great. The um, mountain, not the mountain, but the uh, C will be at 100, great. Um, this uh, text C will be at zero here. The text country will be at 50. The country will be at zero. The C over will be at 100. And the text C over here, I can delete it because I have it twice. Let's have a look. I make a preview here. Well, this is okay. Now, see. Now it's not great because, see, I have not the C picture. So I must change the C picture. I have, I must have the, to add the C picture and I must have this great country picture must be at zero and the uh, mountain picture must be to zero let's have a look on the private button when i pass the mouse over c i have the c and uh have a look i must put the mountain button with 50% of opacity now. That's the last thing I have to do for this C chapter. Let's do it now. So um, I go here. I'm going to fetch the text mountain here and put it to 
50%. Right? Preview? Great. I must add a last thing, which is um, the mounting over here must be to zero. That is great. I save and close it. I save my project and I am going to see what happens now. Mountains, it's okay. See, it's okay. And it will be the same for the country, but we we won't do it now 